where costs are probably starting to rise with Google Ads and this has put you in a state of panic. If that sounds familiar, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly why Google Ad costs all of a sudden start to rise up, give you three specific examples of why this happens and how to deal with it, and also go over some ad accounts which we're facing the same exact situations with to tell you how we plan to approach this. Now, first things first, we're gonna go over three different ad accounts where we are facing this. These are ad accounts under my Google Ad Agency or marketing. Now, if we look at this first brand right here, this is a fashion brand that's a pretty big brand within the United States. But in the last 30 days, if we compare it to the previous 30, we can see the cost has went up by 62% average cpc is up 33 percent now just this metric right here alone and looking at the ctr dropping will put many brand owners in a state of panic but now here's the thing if we continue looking at the results the conversion value is also up 32 percent ROAS is slightly down by 18 percent we can slowly start to understand why this is all happening the first reason is because you're in a stage of scale this brand right here, we're heavily focused on the revenue side of things because we are in the main portions of Q4. We want to focus on scaling the revenue while keeping the ROAS above a 5x. In a normal time period, this brand is extra profitable at a 6x and a 7x ROAS and beyond. But during that time, we're just uh -huh. unable to scale the revenue because it's not the main season for this brand. The second ad account, which is also facing this, is this one right here. Another brand we're handling under my Google Ads agency or marketing. But in the last kind of 30 days, we are seeing the costs slightly go up by 2%. We're seeing the CTR drop again. CPCs go up by 5%. Again, same situation as the last brand right here that we just discussed. But the conversion value here is actually starting to go down. It's down by 14%. ROAS is slightly down at a 10.97x. Still profitable, but it's down by 16%. What's the situation here? And why do the results look kind of similar to the last brand? But the ROAS and the revenue is starting to drop here. Well, this brand is facing an entirely different problem. It's a problem where the brand is going out of season now. This brand surprisingly does not do as well during Q4 because it's a car parts and accessories brand. And most car parts and accessories enthusiasts in this niche at least like to purchase things before September in the summer months. So that's why this brand is starting to have an increase in terms of cost because there's a shift in the season. And the third brand, which is also facing a similar situation is this brand right here where the cost is actually down 8%, but overall, if we look at everything else, we can see the CPCs are starting to go up by 39%. CTRs are going down as well. And the re the conversions, as well as the revenue, both of it is, is down along with the return on ad spend. So this brand is a little bit of a graver issue we're facing because this brand now is going downwards from 100K per month to now barely doing 30K per month simply because of external problems related to other ad platforms. So all these things, influence your brand's ability to truly scale and it's going to cause your cost to go up but now here's the main question how do you exactly deal with all of these three situations where the first situation is because you're scaling the second situation is because of the changing season and the third situation is because of external factors how do you deal with these rising costs well let's start off with the scaling first first things first if your costs are going up because of scaling you shouldn't be happy about it you shouldn't be panicking at all because this is a byproduct of scale you need to understand that as you scale, you're now reaching bigger and bigger pockets of the audience and not everybody from these bigger pockets of the audience are inclined to purchase. You're competing in other options as well, which you were not competing in before. So it's not a bad thing. And keep in mind, as you scale, you have less control over which options you actually enter when it comes to Google Shopping. Even in a situation like this where it might seem like you can't really do much, there are two solutions I want to go over. The first solution is you want to have a more optimized product feed based on the inside section so any of these brands right here at any given time we're going into the inside section every 14 to 30 days and we're devouring it essentially we're trying to figure out what this brand is ranking for what keywords what categories and basically everything else we can understand because then we're optimizing the product feed based on the valuable information here so we're looking at these keywords right here there's sort of 15,000 almost keywords that we can go into and research there's also different kinds of categories there's different types of assets which the audience is responding better to which we can make more of if we scroll down we can understand that which type of specific category of products or basically subcategory is doing well what isn't etc and we're going to use all that information to make our product feed better that's the first major solution 
that's going to take care of your problem as you scale. So you don't have to really slow down on the scaling process. But the second solution here, it's a bit of a slower process here. It's basically taking the scaling phase in steps. The first step is of course, scaling that revenue until you start to kind of become uncomfortable with the level of ad spend increase and the CPC increase you're facing. Once you get to that level where things are just going up, where you don't want it to go up, then you slow down the scale, pause it, while you focus on the ROAS, meaning you optimize the feed further, you make sure the bad campaigns are getting put off, the bad products are getting excluded, etc. And you focus on ROAS for a couple of days, maybe a week or two, and then you go back to scale. And once you scale again, you go back to ROAS focus. So taking it in these phases right here, perfect solution to deal with this first problem of the cost going up because of scale. But that's only the first kind of major problem that should take those two solutions should take care of it. But those two solutions will not work for the second problem, which is the season based issue in terms of the rising cost. Now, season based issue, you want to understand that there's a lot of things out of your control here. First thing is you're just going out of season. You can't do anything about it. And it's going to naturally cause lower in demand. If you go within the search volume, the monthly searches will start to go down. And no matter what you do there, you can't really revive that. You can try to force it via maybe running to Facebook ads, TikTok ads, generate more demand, but there's only so much you can do. And it's because it's entirely dependent on the keyword search volume. If your keyword search volume is lowering, uh -huh. then you cannot really go against that. You can't showcase your ads to 10,000 people if only 5,000 people in a given month are you searching for your product? That's just the unfortunate thing with Google Ads. But there is still a solution for this. And there's one major solution, which is expanding your keywords. If you're now ranking for certain keywords where the keyword search volume is going down, I always recommend go for the broader approach. So if you're, for example, selling a red wooden table and that keyword red wooden table and everything associated with it is going down. But when you go on the Google Keyword Planner tool, you notice that the keyword wooden table has a consistent search volume or much, much higher than red wooden table related keywords, well, then you want to now change your approach for the low season and go after wooden table related keywords only. And the third major issue why the costs are going up is external factors. Again, there's only so much you can do in terms of external factors, but one of the main reasons why this third brand I went over, which is again, under my agency or marketing is starting to go down in terms of the revenue on Google is because of other ad platforms. They're facing a crisis on Facebook ads where no matter what they do, their creatives are not working. And this is because they're also facing the out of season problem with their product it was better for the summer season and as we go into winter it's just not really working that well so it's like a two-in-one issue here which is really causing some problems and with other ad platforms what's going to happen is the cold traffic demand is going to decrease over time because your other ad platforms they were once really generating a lot of sales or a lot of demand and it was causing your overall demand to increase as well but when you stop running ads there, well now less people are searching for your products on Google because they were seeing the ad on Facebook first and going on Google to buy from you, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That's gonna stop to happen as much. But there is still a solution to this. One major solution is to increase the retargeting efforts here. So essentially what that means is whatever demand is left over, you want to go after them even more now because that's the only kind of sales you can only get at this point of time. So increase the retargeting efforts a bit. We like to follow the 80-20 rules where 80% of the traffic is cool traffic. That's what we focus on. 20% is just retargeting traffic. And 20% is really the max that you want to go after. If you go 30, 40, then uh -huh. the account becomes too reliant on retargeting, which is also not a good thing. But second solution is more product segregation. So the TPS approach works great here because now this allows you to also focus a bit more on the cool traffic side of things to really generate whatever cool traffic is out there via a segregation based approach. And again, the 80-20 rule works wonders along with the TPS where you're focused on testing products separately from those that are profitable versus those that are already scaled. But all these three problems are major issues, which causes the brands to have a rising cost. But the solutions are fairly simple. And if it still doesn't work, even after following these solutions, at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do. You can basically wait for the season to go out or continue testing new products and just having different kinds of product feed based approaches. But again, if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year, you need extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a pre-call with me. And let's see if we can potentially work together to scale your brand to the very next level.